Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Philadelphia's filthy piss grave suicide euphoria cassette version on Night Shroud Records. This is so fucking vile, heavy, and disgustingly awesome. Fuck yeah. I thought the LP was savage. The cassette is just absolutely vicious sounding. Highly, highly recommended. One of Philadelphia's best death metal bands. And speaking of some of Philadelphia's best death metal bands, I want to go over the new Outer Heaven record, Realms of Eternal Decay. This is actually their debut full length on Relapse Records. If you're wondering why this looks all beat up and old, it's because I, it just came like this, you know. You know how that shit is. But, um, something about the cosmetics here, you know, I had to support the homies, pick up the pre-order and whatnot. So, I got a Swamp Green with Splatter version that's limited to 200 copies. So normally that shit doesn't really matter to me, but once I got a copy and was going to put it on my turntable, as soon as I opened it, the fucking thing was completely ripped, but that doesn't matter. I was, I first opened that, I was like, huh, what the hell? And then I was like, oh, it's back here. And again, I was like, oh, I wonder what the, you know, color variant looks like. And I was just like, wow, that's fucking gorgeous. And then I realized, holy shit. Like, the splatter looks like the meteors and stuff. The slime, obviously, is the slime. It's like, wow, this is everything I would want out of a color variant when it comes to matching up with the artwork, which to me is the only reason to really get colored vinyl is if it matches up with the art and here as you can see it's a perfect fucking blend everything about it it's perfect cosmetically like wow and then there's this awesome fucking illustration on the inside as well just sick as fuck and this is 10 tracks of absolutely vicious Pennsylvania death metal. And when I say Pennsylvania death metal, I fucking mean it. Because you can hear parts in here that, like, seriously remind me of, like, Deteriorate. And, like, even Gorophobia. But mostly, Morbid Fucking Angel. And this is just done so, so fucking well. It's a perfect blend of old school death metal mixed with newer school death metal. And what is newer school death metal? I'm just gonna say Blood Incantation Star Spawn. Cause there's parts on here where the guitar work is so fucking well done, complex, reeking of lava and swampiness. Which brings me to Morbid Angel, but when I think of Morbid Angel, now my mind goes to the cosmos while looking at this artwork, and I start thinking Star Spawn. But Outer Heaven, to me, have their own fucking sound, which is, like I said, pretty much more of an East Coast death metal sound, because you'll hear a lot of, like, Scorched in Outer Heaven, even though they're totally two different bands, from two different states. I'm also spoiled enough that I got to see this band pretty much once a month for an entire year leading up to this bad boy. So getting to hear, you know, what lies beneath on vinyl, fuck yeah. I was so stoked the first time I like threw this on and that track came on. And there's this one part on, on it that like straight up sounds like Vastum. Like, kind of like Autopsy, Vastum, like that, like, like, you know, that knuckle-dragging fucking awesomeness. And it's just done so well on here, but you also have Vortex of Thought, What Lies Beneath, 
pulsating swarm, multicellular savagery, echoes from beyond, tortured winds, blood spire, sacrificial evolution, putrid dwelling, and decaying realms. As the cover art shows, what you're getting into is some slimy, crushing, punishing death metal from Douglasville, Pennsylvania's Outer Heaven. This debut full length is everything you could possibly fucking want out of a death metal record. Seriously. Like, Scorch had not to mold out of my number one position for death metal record of the year. And then crept along Outer Heaven. And I still haven't made up my mind yet. This is still an album of the year contender. Just in general. But when it comes to death metal, this and the Scorched record have a lot in common. But the Scorched record, a cryptic butchery, kind of has a concept to it. And the whole record follows that concept about the serial killer and the alien abduction and whatnot. Real cool stuff. And it's kind of a little more science fiction driven, while Outer Heaven's Realms of Eternal Decay is more based upon just like sheer death metal savagery and whatnot. And it's fucking sick. Like, I love every track on here. Austin's lyrical delivery, it's sick because it kind of sounds like the dude from Arch Goat if he gave a fuck about death metal. It's amazing sounding the vocals on here but riff wise wow but the drumming again is just no pun intended out of this fucking world and you have Austin on vocals John Kuntz on guitar Zach Carter on guitar Raymond on bass and Paul Christmer on drums Paul is a total fucking maniac behind the kit. That dude can blast. And the drumming on here is just top fucking notch along with the author risk production. Holy shit. This sounds so good in every way possible. Just fuck yeah. Look at the artwork again and just wow. There's so much going on. You need to pick this up and just... This is something that digitally... Yeah, if you want to just... If that's the only way you can own this is digitally, then, you know, whatever. But I'm pretty sure your computer would have a CD drive in it. Grab the CD because this is a fucking album that you really need the artwork to get the full fucking effect of things and the lyrics and everything, because it will just drive you into, like, you know, the con- like, it will just help you understand this a lot more than it already does, because it's fucking sick, like, forbidden tombs of the astral gate descending deeper into nothing, vermin of other world, stars scattered amongst the dust, moving skyward the branch of death, infinite our legions formed life has ceased fuck yes outer heaven realms of eternal decay if you're writing a debut death metal record yeah this is so fucking good like this might be 2018 star spawn like it's just it's so fucking good I can't say a negative goddamn thing about it. The production's great. The riffs are just, wow. So goddamn good. And reading, like, you know, some of the stuff that went on behind the scenes with this bad boy, like some of the health problems some band members had, writing a record and having congestive heart failure, yo. Seriously, Zach, like, you're the fucking man, and best wishes and stuff, and, you know, seriously, fucking infernal hails to everybody in outer heaven, like, you guys really, really, like, I'm not being biased whatsoever, if there was anything about this that I felt, you know, 
was mediocre, I would be like, well, you know, I was expecting blah, 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 but no. No, 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 no. Outer Heaven not only deliver live, but they deliver more than expected on record. Like, this is something that is going to be held in high regard for years to come, I feel. Like, it's just such a sick blend of death metal. Like, because there's, you know, different bands you'll hear, but at the same time, like, there's kind of a hardcore edge to it. It's, like, sick. Like, you know how Gate Creeper kind of has, like, parts that it's like, oh, like, hardcore kids would eat this up. Well, Outer Heaven has the same thing, but, like, with a lot less HM2 pedal worship and a lot less emphasis on Swedish death metal and more of an emphasis on... Steve Tucker error morbid angel and that's fucking great and you can hear that on a lot of tracks here and just by looking at some of the artwork you should be able to tell that hey these guys definitely love morbid angel because I really think that where the slime lives is that more is it a, where the slime lives is that outer heavens practice space because the riffs on here in comparison to kingdom disdained yeah. Outer Heaven pretty much wrote the record Morbid Angel wishes they fucking wrote here with Realms of Eternal Decay on Relapse Records. And yeah, I can't give this enough fucking props for being one of the best debut full-length records since Star Spawn, since Eroded Corridors of Unbeing by Spectral Voice. Just fuck yeah. Scorched Ecliptic Butchery is actually their second full length, so I can't say, you know, like, I can't add that onto the list, but someone please put out the first Scorched record on vinyl. It deserves it. But, anyways, Outer Heaven, Realms of Eternal Decay, you can't go wrong with picking up this release. I wish I had a download code to give you guys, but I don't. But... I'm pretty sure you could still get some colors and whatnot if you actually care about that type of thing. But with the price of vinyl with relapse being kind of expensive, I feel like you're better off buying a colored copy than you are buying a black copy. If you ask why, just go and look at the prices and you'll see why. But that has nothing to do with the music and that has nothing to do with the band. What does have something to do with the band is how goddamn good they are with their instruments and how goddamn good their songwriting capabilities are because there's nothing at all I could say negative about Realms of Eternal Decay. This right here is a goddamn beast. And I'm glad that the rest of the world is getting to, you know, enjoy Outer Heaven as much as I have since 2016 when I first saw them open up for Blood Incantation and Nucleus. A complete accident that turned into a complete, you know, love affair with this band. And yeah, like I was saying, I can't say a negative thing about Outer Heaven, and I can't say a negative thing about Realms of Eternal Decay. This is a fucking 9.5 out of 10. Pretty much a perfect death metal record in every way possible get into it on Relapse Records. Awesome production by the mighty author Risk. And you can hear it in the drums and whatnot. It's just massive sounding and yeah. Great production, great songwriting. Everything about this is just a fuck yeah. You like death metal? Outer Heaven has your name written all over it. Realms of Eternal Decay, fuck yeah. And we've been blasting another awesome Philadelphia death metal band. Piss Grave, Suicide Euphoria, on Night Shroud Records and Profound Lore. So fucking good. Thanks for watching as always. You guys fucking rule. Hell <laughs>